Ralph and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'd like to talk to you about a little problem that we've had with a, uh, a bike that we were working on and doing a cam plate change on. Uh, changing the plates from the stock configuration to the newer upgraded plates is a, a thing that's commonly done on them. Uh, while we were working on it, uh, we ran across the problem and this was unusual, but I have run across it before on some bikes and other people may run into this if you, if you happen to get your screws mixed up and you try to put them in and you strip things out. So we had the case uh, stripped on this bike in behind a dowel which had threads in behind it. Uh, you couldn't get a tap in it. Uh, you could try and put a wrench on the dowel and possibly crush it out or do more damage to the face um, of where it's supposed to fit on and being as how it's an alignment dowel uh, we didn't want to do that. Uh, so we come up with this quick plan on, on how to fix this and uh, to tap it out safely nice and deep so that you could uh, get in there put a longer bolt in there and that your plate would be torqued to the proper specs. So follow us along as we uh, as we fix this problem and I hope this is a help to some of you that may have a problem with uh, stripped holes especially in behind a dowel um, that you can't run a tap into and this is a good way for just about any aspect like that to get it out. Also follow us along to the end of this video and uh, where we've taken the time to make a little kind of spec sheet just to give us some measurements to come and go by and to let you know how, th how thick things are and what they seem to be. Now these are just my own measurements of it. I'm not uh, discrediting anything that Harley makes, so don't get me wrong. I'm just trying to point out some things that I ran into uh, that maybe somebody else will run into too and this may help you get out of a bind. Hope you enjoy it, let's go. When we started working on our plate yesterday, we had it in and mounted and we started torquing the bolts all around in the sequence that you're supposed to get. So when we got to this one, with the boss in it down here, um, it just stripped to 90 to 100 inch pounds where they're supposed to be. So let's start with number one here. I tried to put a little longer bolt in it. Sometimes that will alleviate the problem, but the longer bolt stripped as well. When it was coming out of the plate, it was very hard to get out. So I expected that it might be bringing threads and stuff with it. And sure enough, it did. So what we're gonna try to do is get this boss out of here so that we can drill it and tap it and uh, put a helicoil in it so we don't run into this problem again. When we did the measurements on our plate, this one down here was a bolt that was stripping. So we measured this measurement see how thick it was. We compared that with our other plate and found that there was quite a difference in it. So we had no choice but to try and get this pin out um, and now we see why the thread depths were very small on it um, so it's no wonder that they strip. I've run into this problem before. So we're gonna see what we can do to get that out without ruining it, enable us to, to tap in there, put a helicoil in, put our insert back in. This hopefully gets you out of a pinch. So what we're going to do is take a 5 16 coarse tap and we're going to start it into the hole and see if it will bite. It's not quite the right size for a 5 16 tap but almost. Once you've got it started, eyeball it from down below and up top and make sure that you're going square into the hole. We need to get right square into it to make this work. So just take your time, breaking the chips as you go and the tap should feed itself pretty well in there. We don't need a lot of threads in it, two or three thread threads should do it and as you can see 5 16 tap is going in there pretty easy. We want to try to salvage the piece if we can. We don't have a new one. So just take your time. And maybe one more. Alright, we've got two or three threads in there, so we're going to try to move on from there. We've got ourselves a little allen bolt here, and a nut on it, and a washer, and a little spacer. 
this little spacer is aluminum and it's bigger than the hole so that that dowel should pull right out of it. But we're just going to put our spacer like that. And we're going to thread this in a few threads. And we're just going to snug it up in there. All right. And we're going to turn the bottom nut. Stud out. So we'll just get this off here. We haven't ruined it. We're going to check it with our plate and make sure that everything fits nice and smooth. But now we can get at this and drill this out and uh, put our new helicoil in there. Now that we have the dowel out, we've taken a measurement to the depth of our hole, how deep that is, because we don't want to go beyond that by any means. So what we've done is we've taken that measurement and we've wrapped a piece of tape around it so that we know that's full depth and we don't want to go any farther than that because we don't want to take a chance on pushing a hole through it or anything. In order for our tap size we need to get a 1764 drill which is about 266 thousandths of an inch and that's what we need to set our helicoil in there. So we've got it taped up here and we're just going to ease on in there very gently. You can see now that we're not quite to the bottom, but we have a lot of room for our tap to put our helicoil in. And that's what we want. We don't want to go too deep. So now we'll get set up and we'll get ready to tap the hole. So now we've got our tap ready for our helicoil. And we're just going to spray a little lube on it. And get it started into the hole. Be sure you're square in here. There, we've got a nice threaded hole in there. Now we're going to put our helicoil in, a little bit of red Loctite, and we're going to get it set in place. The hole's nice and clean. Check to see for our depth. Just go a little bit farther in there. Just want to make sure we're down past where the shoulder piece goes back in there. Just a hair. That will do it. Now that the heel coils in, we just reach inside here, give it a smack, and that'll break our tab off inside. And there's our little piece that's broken off the inside of the tab. So that'll, you know, that's out of there. And that'll take care of our hole.
Now we're going to take our little piece that we got out and the threaded portion, I'm going to put that inside in the case because this side we know has not been distorted at all. So we're just going to set that in place. And there we go. Now our hole should be repaired and we should have good thread in there. So there's a quick fix. And it's not uncommon to run into that, especially when you're changing the plates over. So you have to be very careful. So we can see the difference in the plates and this is where we've ran into a problem. Um, as you can see, looking through here, there's only this much of the screw sticking out. That's not very much. If you take that same screw and you put it in through the other holes, we've got that much bite into the uh, case. But through here, and this dowel here is usually in the case. I just have it here so you can see. This is how much that you got sticking out. And it's a very small amount and very easy to strip when you're trying to torque it. So that seems to be one of the problems. That's even with the stock case. So here we have Harley's new upgrade case. And I've stuck the dowel into depth in there just so you can see. And by the time the screw goes through it, there's what we got left. And that's all you're trying to torque is a very small amount here. So there's not much thread to grab. Again, going through the other holes, we've got that much thread. But through the dowel pin holes, even though it's countersunk in there, this particular spot only gives you that much thread, which is less than 3 eighths of an inch. So it's very easy to strip that out. So if you run into problems, you'll have to make yourself a small puller to try and get it out. That should be done because the chances are is that you're going to strip that thread out. And uh, that's about all that can be done with it. So be careful and understand why that's the one down on the left hand corner of the case. We don't, this one is countersunk a long ways down in, but this one's not countersunk for the screw. They've countersunk it for the dowel, but it still creates that problem. So we've made up this little thing on plate differences and this can give you an idea of what's going on. It gives you the true depths and the things like that. And be careful not to drill too deep. Just enough to get your helicoil in there to the bottom of the hole and you'll be all right. Hope that helps you with the fix. So if you enjoyed this video today or found it helpful, like, subscribe, ring the bell, do those things. They all help our channel to grow and follow us along with our other videos uh, as we have new ones coming out. Hope to see you in the next one.